I'd like to call this village board meeting of Thursday, January 7th, 2021 to order. Would the clerk please take the roll? President Jackson? Here. Trustee Schmidt? Here. Trustee Sullivan? Here. Trustee Light? Here. Trustee Meritado? Here. Trustee Pojack? Here. And Trustee Schroeder? Here. Would you all please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag, flag of the United, United States, States of America, America. and to the, and to the Republic, Republic for which it stands, one nation, one nation, one nation under, God, under God, indivisible. The liberty, liberty and justice, and justice for, for all. Before we start tonight, we have the governor of the state of Illinois has declared a gubernatorial disaster proclamation in response to the COVID-19 outbreak restricting individuals to gatherings of 10 persons or less. And all of the village of Glendale Heights is covered by the disaster area. In light of the ongoing COVID-19 outbreak, the village president of the village of Glendale Heights has determined that an in-person meeting for the January 7, 2021 Village Board and Committee of the Whole meetings is not practical or prudent in light of the disaster. All of the trustees of the Village Board participating in the January 7, 2021 Village Board meeting, wherever their physical location, shall be verified and determined that they can hear one another and can hear all discussion and testimony during the meeting. This was signed by me, Linda Jackson, village president of the village of Glendale Heights, dated January 7th, 2021. Everybody can hear? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You can't see everybody though. That's a blessing. I just see you, Linda, Sharon and Mary, that's it. Me too. I see Mike. I see Mike Light. Yes, I just don't there see Pat go. and Bill. Here we are. Okay. They're here. <laughs> They're just at far ends of the dais. Um, Trustee Schmidt, would you like to start us off, please? I will, Mayor. Thank you. As a reminder to residents, please do not shovel snow blow or plow any snow onto village streets. This will help ensure our streets are clean and clear of any snow for safe driving. If you have any questions, please call the police department's non-emergency number at 630-260-6070. The village of Glendale Heights is collecting broken or unused holiday lights. Lights can be dropped off at the Public Works Garage located at 1635 Glen Ellen Road on weekdays from 7.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. Lights accepted for recycling include all colors and lengths of <laughs> mini lights, C7 lights, C9 lights, rope lights, LED lights, and extension cords. For more information on holiday lights recycling, Please call 630-260-6000. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Trustee Light. Thank you, Mayor. You're welcome. Join the Village of Glendale Heights in celebrating National Salute to Hospitalized Veterans Month by participating in the Valentine's for Veterans collection effort. Annually, the village delivers beautifully written and decorated Valentines collected from our community to the Illinois Veterans Home and Veterans Hospital. Drop off your Valentines at Village Hall by Wednesday, February 3rd to ensure a timely delivery for Valentine's Day. Please do not decorate your cards with glitter, 
include social media contact information or include envelopes with cards. Should you have any questions, please call Nicole Lewis at 630-909-5327. The Saturday, January 9th, Coffee with the Mayor and Village Board has been canceled. The next Coffee with the Mayor and Village Board will be Saturday, February 6th at the Center for Senior Citizens from 10 a.m. till noon. If you are unable to attend and have any comments, suggestions, or questions for the mayor or village board, please call the mayor's office anytime at 630-909-5303. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Mike. Trustee Mayor Tato. Oh, thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Get this off. The police, the police department would like to remind residents of the parking regulations within the village during snowfalls. There is no parking allowed on village streets designated as a snow route for 24 hours after a snowfall of one inch or more. There is no parking allowed on any village street for 24 hours after a snowfall of two inches or more. There is no parking allowed on any village street for 72 hours after a snowfall of five inches or more. So if you have any questions regarding winter parking restrictions, please contact the Glendale Heights Police Department non-emergency number at 630-260-6070. Thank you. Thank you, Pat. Trustee Pojak. Thank you, Mayor. You're welcome. Republic Services will collect Christmas trees from your curbside during regular garbage and recycling pickup through January 15th. Please remember that all trees must be free of tinsel, Christmas lights, ornaments, and no longer than five feet. If you have any questions, please contact Republic, Republic Services at 847-981-0091. Thank you. Thank you, Chester. Trustee Schroeder. Thank you, Mayor. You're welcome. The Glendale Heights Police Department wants to hear from you. So please take a moment and fill out their online survey and let them know how they can better serve you. To access the survey, please visit www.glendaleheights.org or visit their Facebook page at www.facebook dot com slash Glendale Heights Police. The safety of the Glendale Heights residents and community is the number one priority. If you have any questions, please contact the Glendale Heights Police Department non-emergency telephone number at 630-260-6070. And before I sign off, Linda, I want to tell you what a good job they did on cleaning our streets so fast with the snow that we had. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. Mike, did you have something? I do, Mayor. Thank you very much. Uh, we've Good. just received some information that uh, some of our residents have been receiving uh, notices on their doors. Uh, they're red, white, and blue. They say water update. Sorry, we missed you. Uh, it's from a water testing service. There is no relationship from this company with the village. Um, Water Resources has been doing our water meter project, which is nearing completion. Um, and we do not have any other contractors that are doing this type of work. Uh, we do have information on our Facebook page uh, in reference to this. So please uh, check out our, the village's social media uh, for additional information. Thank you, Mike. Hmm. Um, I think David has a surprise for us. Welcome to our 2020 year in review. Smile at the perfect event, grace in your skin.
skin with the side of my hand If I ever leave, I could learn to miss you But sentimental boy is my nom de plume Let me save you Hold this rope I never sleep tonight As long as your still burning bright If I could train the streets for sheep Can I be awake before you sleep? I'll stay awake till I dream of the sticks So they fade away As this epidemic has progressed, we've had to make some hard decisions. To avoid the loss of potentially tens of thousands of lives, we must enact an immediate stay-at-home order for the state of Illinois. So that is the action that I am announcing today. We found our place on the branch of an oak tree. Our feet would sway to a voice in the breeze And birds would sing on the banks of a narrow stream These memories will stay with Salt in the air and sand 
on our feet. We felt the sun as it burned upon our skin. These memories will stay with me.
like lightning coming through the clouds And your heart just might explode Oh, 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 oh Come on, scream it out Let them hear you, let them see you Yeah, you see them now And it's pulsing through your bones Please stay safe and healthy, and we will get through this together. Great job, everyone. I don't usually say anything after the year end, but I just 
want to put out there. I didn't prepare anything to say, but I want to commend all of our residents, our employees, my fellow board members for working so hard all year to at least have some normalcy in our lives. Took a lot of planning, a lot of work, and a lot of people volunteering to help. Um, the food distributions have been phenomenal, and staff has been out there. Everyone directing traffic, handing out food, it's and volunteers from the school districts in the Kwanis and the library, just everybody that's participated, everybody that's helped. Thank you so much, and thank you for putting so much of yourselves into this because it just shows what a close community we have and how much people care about each other. So as we start off 2021, please stay safe, stay healthy, and we will all make it together. Okay. Now we go to public discussion of agenda items. If there's anyone, Mike, is there anybody in the public? Uh, there are obviously no one here, and also uh, there have been no responses on, web, on the website. I don't know if there's anyone on um, Zoom. No. Nothing? Nothing. Okay. Then we will move on. You have the consent agenda before you. What is your pleasure? Trustee Sullivan. Um, move it to the board. Second. Do you want to change that to motion to I know. I lost control. <laughs> motion to approve the consent agenda. Second. I don't know Second. where it was. Second. Thank Roll you. Vote. Trustee Schmidt. Yes. Trustee Sullivan? Yes. Trustee Light? Yes. Trustee Meritado? Yes. Trustee Pojack? Yes. And Trustee Schroeder? Yes. The consent agenda is approved. We now go to old business. Number one is a resolution approving and authorizing the execution of a master power supply agreement to provide full requirement electricity supply and related services for the Village of Glendale Heights Electric Aggregation Program. This is from the November 19th Committee of the Whole. It was tabled at the December 10th, 2020 meeting. So a motion would be in order to remove this from the table. Trustee Schmidt. I move that we, re 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 ah, sorry, remove this motion from the table for consideration. Second. Second. Um, roll call vote. Trustee Sullivan. Yes. Trustee Light. Yes. Trustee Meritado. Yes. Trustee Pojack. Yes. Trustee Schroeder. Yes. And Trustee Schmidt. Yes. Okay, Resolution 2021-R-06 has been removed from the table. A motion would be in order to approve this resolution. Trustee Sullivan. So moved. Second. Second. Any discussion? I believe there were some questions asked at the last meeting. Mike, do you want to fill in? Yes, Mayor. Um, there was uh, questions regarding surveying other communities, and we did conduct a survey of approximately 30 communities. 20 responded. Um, all were satisfied with the customer service that they were receiving. 
Some of them were with Illigo, which um, was the uh, company we were looking at back on December 10th. Um, some were with MC Squared. All of them were uh, happy with the customer service they receive, were receiving. Some of the municipalities were receiving a, a community contribution, as has been proposed for us. Um, some weren't. It all pretty much depended on when they got into the aggregation and the program that they're in right now. Um, some of the municipalities are due to um, re, uh, renew their aggregation uh, contract, and hopefully for them, they'll be looking at a very similar uh, situation that, that we were uh, looking at back on December 10th. Um, if the board does decide to go forward with this, we will have to go and get no new numbers. Uh, so the numbers that we were talking about on December 10th may not be the numbers that we have finalized. Um, but if the board authorizes this, we'll be able to move with on the numbers that we receive. Uh, David Hoover is here from NIMEC um, and can answer any additional questions. Um, one other question that came up, uh, Trustee Meritado had asked about being able to pass the savings on to the consumer. Um, there is no program that uh, allows us to do that right now. Um, with the community contribution um, that is coming back and assuming that there's about as many uh, electric customers as we have utility uh, water billing customers, about 8,900, um, you're talking about $11 a year um, with that $109,000 uh, if we were to disperse that amongst every water billing uh, consumer, it's about $11. Um, for the village at a, at $100,000 an in annual community contribution, um, we can make some some progress with some infrastructure that we have uh, and projects that we have that, that need to be accomplished. Uh, Mike, uh, this is Dave Hoover. If I can just add one, uh, one bit of information. I did check with Eligo today and they said that they would be able to honor the commitment uh, that they made in December. So the numbers that, uh, that were available um, are available tonight uh, from Eligo, should, should you decide to move forward tonight. So just to refresh everyone's uh, memory, that would have been at 100% green energy provided to the community. Uh, Eligo Energy would be making a civic contribution of $109,000 a year for a two-year contract that we would be looking at. Great. Does anybody on the board have any questions? No. Trustee Meritado. Okay, so what you're saying is that next year that price can go down. It's depending on, you know, like, like you said, 109000 Right. So, so the residents would continue to pay the ComEd rate. Every resident in town would continue to pay the ComEd rate. And for the two years that we uh, agree to have this aggregation, we would receive $109,000 in each year of the two-year contract. Okay. Thank you, Mike. So it's a total value of $218,000. Thank you. Any other questions? Trustee Schroeder. I just had this little question. If I remember correctly, he did say that it could vary from uh, 109,000. It could go down. Are we guaranteed that we're going to get the 109 for two consecutive years without it being reduced at any time? That is correct. Uh, it is contractual, and they will commit to that number. What could vary is the ComEd rate. Uh, the ComEd rate will move around a little bit during the two years, and Eligo will match the ComEd rate every month. So from a, from a resident's point of view, there's no difference uh, whether they're in this program or at ComEd. Um, so there's no financial gain or cost to the resident. And the $109,000 is contractual and is firm. Thank you. Mayor, I have a question. Anybody else have questions? Trustee Light. I do, Mayor. Um, how will the rates affect our seniors? Will they, uh, I know my, some might be fixed programs and such like that, as far as their, their electric goes. I don't know how much this will affect them. Will it change their rates, up their rates, or lower their rates? I mean, yeah, I'm not too sure how it will affect our seniors. Um, all the uh, combat rates 
uh, are set. There is no senior rate or any other rate. So it's a fixed uh, rate um, that ComEd sets annually, and uh, you know all all residents are charged the same rate. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? I have one, Mayor. Chester. Uh, how will the rates be, uh, the residents be notified? Uh, letters when, when will it go into effect? Uh, the program will go into effect should you move forward tonight. It would take approximately two months for it to go into effect. Uh, residents will be notified by mail. Um, that would occur in about three weeks from now. And uh, they would have the option, uh, if they do nothing, if they take no action, they'd be included in the program. If they choose to opt out, uh, they're given you know, notice about how to opt out. And uh, if they decide they wanna opt out six months from now, they can opt out. There's no early termination fee. They can opt out at any time they want. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Uh, we have a motion on the floor to approve resolution 2021-R-06. Um, and it's been seconded, so I guess we are ready for a roll call vote. Trustee Light? No. Trustee Meritado? Yes. Trustee Bojack? Yes. Trustee Schroeder? Yes. Trustee Schmidt? Yes. And Trustee Sullivan. Yes. Resolution 2021-R-06 is approved. Now go on to new business. And number one is the motion to waive first reading on new business. It will be instead of items two to nine, it is items two through five. We go on to number two. Well, don't they vote on that? To, which isn't waived for first. Oh reading. no! Would somebody like yes. to make a motion? Yeah. I'm here, Trustee Sullivan. <laughs> um, motion to uh, waive first readings on item new business items two to five. Second. Roll call vote. Trustee Miritato. Yes. Trustee Pojak? Uh, yes. Trustee Schroeder? Yes. Trustee Schmidt? Yes. Trustee Sullivan? Yes. And Trustee Light? Yes. First reading is waived on new business items two through five. Number two is an ordinance extending temporary executive powers pursuant to 65 ILCS 5-11 Dash one, dash six. Uh, first reading has been waived, so this would be ordinance number 2021-01. Trustee Mayor. Schmidt. So moved. No. Second. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? <coughs> Roll call vote. Trustee Pojak. Yes. Trustee Schroeder? Yes. Trustee Schmidt? Yes. Trustee Sullivan? Yes. Trustee Light? Yes. And Trustee Meritado? Yes. Ordinance 2021-01 is approved. Number three is an ordinance approving an operations manual policy regarding the prohibition of sexual harassment and other forms of harassment and discrimination. Uh, first reading has been waived. This is ordinance number 2021-02. Trustee Light. So moved. Second. Discussion. Mayor. Chester. Mayor, I'm looking at this under new business. They're showing the ordinance as 2020. Shouldn't it be 21 on all of these? It is. Mine shows 2020. Oh, really? No, it says 21, Chester. 
Tessa, if you could change that. Mine says 2021 also. So it okay. should be 2021-02. Yeah, I'm looking at the board docs, the schedule, and it's showing 2020. Okay, I'll change it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, if there's no further discussion, roll call vote. Trustee Schroeder? Yes. Trustee Schmidt? Yes. Trustee Sullivan? Yes. Trustee Light? Yes. Trustee Meritado? Yes. And Trustee Bojack? Yes. Ordinance 2021-02 is approved. Number four is an ordinance to authorize the issuance of an entertainment permit for live entertainment for Schnitzelplatz located at 729 East North Avenue in the village of Glendale Heights, Illinois. Um, first reading has been waived. This would be ordinance number 2021-03. Trustee Schroeder. So moved. Second. Second. Discussion. Just so that everybody is aware, this is gets renewed every year. So it doesn't mean that with the restrictions that are on that we're telling them they can go ahead and do it. It's simply done every year as long as there's no problems at the establish, establishment. So... Right. It is up for a vote. Trustee Schmidt. Roll call vote. Yes. Oops. Trustee Sullivan. Yes. Trustee Light. Yes. Trustee Meritado. Yes. Trustee Pojack. Yes. And Trustee Schroeder. Yes. Ordinance 2021-04 is approved. Number five is an ordinance granting a conditional use to permit the operation of an open sales lot with outdoor storage of vehicles, automobile repair, and ancillary automobile laundry located at 271 East North Avenue in the village of Glendale Heights, Illinois. This would be Millennium Auto Sales. It is from the December 10th, 2020 Committee of the Whole. First reading has been waived. This would be ordinance number 2021-04. Trustee Schmidt. So moved. Second. Uh, discussion. Roll call vote. Trustee Sullivan. Yes. Trustee Light. Yes. Trustee Meritado. Yes. Trustee Pojack. Yes. Trustee Schroeder. Yes. And Trustee Schmidt. Yes. Ordinance 2021-04 is approved. Number six, an ordinance of the Village of Glendale Heights approving a tax increment redevelopment plan and redevelopment project for the Army Trail Calvary redevelopment project area. This is first reading. Number seven, an ordinance of the Village of Glendale Heights, DuPage County, Illinois, designated the Army Trail Calvary Redevelopment Project Area of said village a redevelopment project area pursuant to the Tax Increment Allocation Redevelopment Act. This is first reading. And number eight is an ordinance of the Village of Glendale Heights DuPage County, Illinois, adopting tax increment allocation financing for the Army Trail Calvary Redevelopment Project Area. This is first reading. Number nine, a resolution authorizing the execution of change order number four for the purchase of SEBA Leak Spy Loggers and SEBA Leak Spy Logger Programmer Unit for the Water Meter Replacement Program for the Village of Glendale Heights, Illinois. This would be resolution number 2021-R-07. And I believe Water Resources is here tonight to answer any questions you might have. 
So does anybody have any questions? They actually have a uh, short Trustee presentation Pojack. as well there. Yeah, Mayor. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry, Mike. Hey, I interrupted you. No, I, I'm sorry. I apologize. I was just saying that they have oh, a... Oh, I'm uh, sorry. No, it's okay. Uh, Water Resources has a brief presentation as well. Okay. Okay. So he is to unmute. Mike or Anthony, I don't know which one of you are going to... Uh, is See it the working, Mike? There we go. Anthony's getting it started. Okay. There we go. Okay, thank you. Uh, if everyone can hear me, I just want to say thank you, Mayor Jackson and uh, Board of Trustees, again, for allowing us a brief opportunity to uh, discuss the SIBA leaks by loggers with you. Uh, Anthony has posted in front of you here two pages. Uh, this first page that we're looking at is essentially the product spec sheet for the SIBA loggers. Uh, if you see uh, in the photo up in the upper right, uh, that is what one of the leaks by loggers looks like. It's uh, a device that's an acoustic listening device that uh, gets magnetically coupled uh, to, a, uh, to a valve either in an auxiliary valve vault or in a mainline valve vault. Uh, you can see that there's a cable uh, on the logger, and that cable gets connected to an R900 PIT version MIU. Uh, these MIUs are very similar to the MIUs or radio transmitters that are connected to all the water meters in all the homes and businesses. Uh, these loggers will get placed and they can either be left in one location for a brief period of time, uh, several days to several weeks, or they can be left in a location for an extended period of time. Um, the units listen uh, overnight uh, during the, uh, the overnight hours, uh, typically between midnight and 4 a.m. Uh, when the ambient noise in the area is the quietest. And the units use the, uh, the Neptune fixed network uh, meter reading system with the gateway data collectors uh, to report their data relative to potential leaks, uh, basically noise levels and frequencies uh, regarding individual leaks. Uh, they report that back through the network into the uh, Neptune 360 software platform. Uh, where the village staff, and I understand obviously Jeff McCumber is on uh, on the call tonight, uh, staff like Jeff, uh, Rachel, Roman, and others can review the uh, the software and the reports from the leak spies uh, for analysis of individual leaks and our prioritization to go check those out, correlate and pinpoint, and dig them up and repair them uh, so that minimal amounts of water is lost. Uh, I think that's it for the first page. Uh, Anthony has just forwarded us on now to the second page. And uh, this is basically a sample of a, a GIS map uh, showing what some of the leak spies can look like uh, in a GPS, uh, GIS rather mapping program. Uh, they're color coded to help uh, for better analysis by the staff uh, with different colors representing potential large leaks medium leaks, small leaks, and loggers showing no leaks. Uh, so this helps uh, very well uh, visually for the staff in looking at the loggers, where they're located and which ones uh, might be indicative of a leak and uh, could uh, generate analysis and uh, review by the staff. So that essentially is our brief presentation, um, but we are here to answer any questions that you might have before entertaining moving forward with this change. Thank you. Does anybody have any questions? Trustee Meritato. Mike, is there, a, is there a way we can get a copy of those two uh, pamphlets? Yes, we'll get that for you. Okay, thank you. Sorry, Trustee Schmidt. That's okay. So basically, this is listening for uh, like gurgling going on at hours when things are supposed to be quiet and looking for leaks in the water system. Is that correct? 
Yes, essentially. And uh, Anthony, if you want to jump in and unmute yourself at any time, I know you have a little more experience working with these devices. Maybe you can help provide some additional answers. So like Mike mentioned, uh, you know, the, the, the leak spies are programmed to listen at night. That's um, the time of uh, day that they, there's no ambient background noise. So uh, a leak has a specific sound and, and megahertz that it creates when it's basically going through the broken pipe. Um, so that's what the, that's what they're listening for. They're listening for a high pitched noise um, due to the water, you know, leaking out of the water main. Okay. Now, if you're listening, you you hear hear this high pitched noise. How do you identify the location of the leak then? Well, the leak spies are basically spread uh, basically a thousand feet from each other. So after the the system notifies you that there's a leak heard on a specific leak spy. Uh, then you'd have to actually go out there with correlating equipment and actually pinpoint the, the leak. So this, these, these systems basically will let you know that there's a leak in, a, in this general area. It doesn't actually tell you exactly where it's at. That's when basically you'd, you'd, you'd hire a correlation company to come out there and actually pinpoint the, the leak for you. Okay, I see. Thank you. All right, Mayor, I have, I've been. Chester. You know, Chester. Uh, he's been breaking up with, with his uh, report, but uh, say a resident calls and his water meter is extra high this month. How does he tell, how does that work? Does he put a uh, that logger over by the resident's home or what? So these loggers are for the water main distribution system. So now you're breaking up. I can't hear you. It's not for the residents, Chester. Yeah, it's so these, for these, the. These devices are for the water main distribution system, not for the actual water going through the water meter into a person's home. Am All I right, thank for you. everybody or just or just Trusty Pojack? I, I heard it. I think it's just Trusty Pojack. Okay. Yes. So in, in Trusty Pojack's situation, that that the question he asked. The the water meter has a leak indicator in it. So if the if the if the resident had a leak within the home, the the resident can actually look at their meter and see that there's a dial on there that will actually show that there's a leak in the in the home. Is that new? Uh, that's all the all the new meters that we've installed. Yes, have that leak indicator on them. Oh, that's great. Okay. Any further questions? Roll call vote. Oh, no. I need a motion. Motion would be in order to approve resolution 2021-R-07. Trustee Schmidt. So moved. Second. Second. No more discussion, anybody? No. Roll call vote. Trustee Schroeder? Yes. Trustee Schmidt? Yes. Trustee Sullivan? Yes. Trustee Light? Yes. Trustee Miritato? Yes. And Trustee Pojak? Yes. Resolution 2021-R-07 is approved. We are now back to public discussion of agenda items. If there's anyone, is there anyone in the public that has tried to contact us? Not via email, Mayor. Nothing. Thank you. Um, the next item would be a motion to adjourn. Trustee Sullivan. Motion to adjourn. Second. So moved. Roll call vote. Trustee Schmidt? Yes. Trustee Sullivan? Yes. Trustee Light? Yes. Trustee Meritado? Yes. Trustee Pojak? Yes. And Trustee Schroeder? Yes. This motion, this motion, this meeting is adjourned and see you again on the 21st.
Does Pat have to read this again since you already um, read it? Can we need the whole? No. Okay. Trustee Maritato. All yours. I'd like to call the committee whole meeting of uh, January 7th, 2021. Uh, notice present. Uh, so noted. You don't have to read that, Pat. Okay, I was just going to tell you. Because to, I, was I asked you to read it. <laughs> I read it and included committee of the whole when I read my intro. Okay. So Good, you're fine. This was signed with Linda Jackson. <laughs> okay. Uh, is there any public comment? Mike, anybody? Nothing on uh, email. Nothing? Okay. We'll go to uh, committee recommendations, which is, is, is no recommendations. And we'll go to C, discussion regarding proposal to amend the multifamily licensing regulations. That would be Joanne? That would be Joanne. Yes. Good evening. Uh, the Village of Glendale Heights adopted the rental ordinances in 2003, and the village requires both single family homes and uh, multifamily homes to obtain rental licenses. The multifamily regulations um, are for both apartment complexes and condominium complexes. So if there's a condominium complex that has a condominium building that has three or more units, uh, they are required to get a rental license. Uh, the reason for that is the village does do inspections of common areas and exterior and parking lots and, and all of those items. Um, one of our condominium complexes has, uh, although they've paid for years, they did uh, indicate that they, in reading the ordinance, they disagreed that it, uh, that the licenses is required. Uh, we believe that the code does require the license and we did uh, talk to them extensively. Uh, however, the ordinance, in discussing it, we do understand that it can be a little bit confusing. It did require quite a bit of explanation. So staff is just recommending or getting, uh, requesting direction from the village board to move forward with clarifying the ordinance. It wouldn't change any of the regulations. It would just help explain it better for our condominium complexes and our, our multifamily apartments and other, uh, other individuals who are trying to understand the ordinance. Uh, sometimes things are written and it can, they can always be improved to be a little more clear. Um, so we, if anyone has any questions about it, um, let me know and uh, I would uh, ask to put this on the next village board agenda. Okay, Joanne, do we, how, how do we do this? By mail or how do we notify them that we're doing this? Uh, actually, we would not notify them because they're not we are not changing the rules in any way. The rules are the same rules that we've been following since 2003. So it would not require any change. We have already mailed out the renewal notices and they're coming in, they're due by the end of the month. This is really a clarification. So no, no change to the rules whatsoever. Okay, thank you. Is there any other questions? I have one question. Uh, the group that's uh, denying that they don't want licensing, isn't that because every unit in that building is owned and uh, the um, residents are living in it. It is not a rented, they're not renting. Isn't that why they're protesting this license? No, actually it's not. Um, the, the complex that's protesting it, it's about a little over half of the units are rental units. So it's- Oh, I thought I had read that they were all, you know, um, owned and um, the yeah. resident, the owners lived in the building. No, there are over a hundred of the units are rental units in the uh -huh. complex. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, any other, any other questions? Okay, being done, so what, uh, what do we have to do? Move this to the, uh, move it to the board? Need a recommendation? Bill? I move that we move this to the board with a recommendation to concur. Is there a second? Second. second. Do we need a roll call? Roll call, Beck? President Jackson? Yes. Trustee Schmidt? Yes. Trustee Sullivan? Yes. Trustee Light? Yes. Trustee Maritato? Yes. Trustee Pojak? 
Yes. And Trustee Schroeder. Yes. Okay, we'll move on. Is there any other business? Okay, being done, I need a motion to adjourn. Motion to Second. adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Roll call. Trustee Schmidt? Yes. Trustee Sullivan? Yes. Trustee Light? Yes. Trustee Maritato? Yes. Trustee Pojak? Yes. Trustee Schroeder? Yes. And President Jackson? Yes. Okay, this meeting is adjourned. Good night, everybody. Thank Good you. Good night. Good night. Good night, all. Good night. Good night.